as with any other conditional probability problem, we first translate that into the left intersect right over the thing on the right. Here we'll draw a Venn diagram to understand what the intersection will be. Set E and set F. The outside is zero, so the inside is it's going to add up to 1 altogether. And E is 3 fourths, F is 2 thirds. And here you have to remember the inclusion exclusion formula. If you don't, uh, go visit the lecture. Um, I think on the, on the Venn diagram section. The, inter the, the inclusion exclusion is that the union is going to be the two sets. Add it up, subtract the intersection from it. Actually, I'll just explain it quickly here if you don't know this formula. The logic is that the union, if you add E and F, you would have counted the middle twice. So if you take out the middle once, that's going to add up to the union itself. So that's what this formula is saying. And the union is 1, E is 3 fourths. F is two third. So let's now make a common factor, which is twelve. So we have twelve twelve equals uh, nine twelve plus this is going to be uh, eight twelve minus e intersect f. This is seventeen minus the twelve. Rearrange it. You'll figure out that e intersect f is going to be five twelfths. And F is 2 thirds, which is 8 twelfths. And that's going to come out to 5 eighths. F given E, again, first thing, change that to F intersect E over E. The intersection is the same. E intersect F is the same thing as F intersect E. So that's 5 twelfths. E is 3 fourths, which is 9 twelfths. So the answer is going to be 5 ninths.